Steel Series didn't just stop at delivering an excellent budget gaming keyboard with the Apex 3. They went the extra mile. One of its most impressive features is the IP32 water resistance rating, ensuring protection against accidental spills. In addition to its full-size layout, the Apex 3 includes a magnetic wrist rest for enhanced ergonomics, providing comfort during long gaming or typing sessions. Typing on the Apex 3 is a pleasure, with its responsive keys and optimal spacing, reducing the risk of wrist fatigue, commonly associated with extended keyboard use. The keyboard boasts whisper quiet switches, offering a satisfying typing experience without the distracting noise, while still providing the tactile feedback desired by gamers. Moreover, users can customize the RGB lighting across 10 zones using the SteelSeries Engine 3 app, catering to individual preferences and adding a touch of personalization to their setup. The Apex 3 is also designed with practicality in mind, featuring cable management channels and adjustable legs to help keep your workspace organized and comfortable. In summary, with its combination of affordability, performance, and thoughtful features, the Apex 3 stands out as an exceptional choice for those seeking a budget-friendly gaming keyboard. Hi guys, stayed up here, and today I'm doing a video review on the Steel Series Apex 3. So without further ado, let's see how this budget keyboard actually performs. So first off, let's talk about what you get in the well, box. Well, it's pretty simple, you've got the keyboard itself, and you've got a removal wrist rest over here. Now the wrist rest itself is made out of full plastic, so therefore it's not soft in the slightest um. It is magnetic and can be removed if you do wish. I would have wished this was of a certain weight. I don't know softer material or one that's padded and therefore would make it just a little bit better on the wrist. Now with the wrist rest aside, the keyboard is attached by USB cable, as you might expect. And underneath it you've got a cable routing system. A cable routing system in other words, it's got three separate ways of managing the cable. You can see here it's coming straight from the, the middle. The cable itself is pretty thick but is pretty long. It's terminated by USB as you might expect. And it's non-removal. There are little rubber feet over here, which can be expanded. The keyboard rises and these um keyboard a little bit of stability from sliding around on hard table like I've got over here. Now the keyboard itself, in terms of its build quality, is made out of full plastic. Unfortunately, keyboard is made of a lightish plastic, and therefore, does suffer from some clear keyboard flash, to say the least. You can potentially see on the camera right there, but it's definitely is slightly wobbly. Now if you are someone who's a heavy gamer, or does press a lot, you'll feel that. The keyboard does concave a little bit. When it is pressed on, it's the I first actually thing noticed when I got out the box. Aside from that, the keycaps themselves um can be removed. Although you will see that they are not using a, any sort of Cherry MX stem or anything because, like well, that. Because well, it's not a mechanical keyboard. It's a membrane keyboard at the end of the day that the keycaps themselves feel of a decent weight. Just worth bringing that I've in mind. I've got no issue with them. Uh, They've got an illumination which goes straight through the middle of the key and you can potentially see as you might have seen from your camera from the camera over here it is here. an RGB keyboard now this has got 10 different zones of it illumination and I'll showcase this in the software section we can customize 10 different zones it doesn't mean that the keys are individually lit so therefore if you're looking for further customization You'll look, you'll have to look for a more expensive keyboard or a keyboard that is its rival. Now the keyboard itself has got a white underlayer, um, where the RGB keys are lit. Now some people might some like people this. might hate it. It does have a sort of floating effect. I have no issues whatsoever with it. And to be honest, to me, it does remind me of um Hyperx's more premium keyboard. So I think Steel Series have done a good job and over in terms here. of controlling the keyboard. You can do this um through the software. 
but if you don't want access to software, um, if you were to um, press the Steel Series button, you can adjust the brightness directly from here, and you can see you can fully disable it all together straight from there. And then you've got the program keys as which well. you can enable just turning, a turning leaving the RGB's lights so off. So I'll turn them on just a second, cause I just wanna highlights the volume and wheel, and basically the play pause button over here. Now this button um, is literally acts as a play pause button. Double press it, it will go next. Triple press, it goes previous. Almost like you'd expect like a Bluetooth device or Bluetooth headphone would do. There's a scroll wheel over here, which is actually made out of metal, which is kind contrasting of from the rest of the keyboard. It's got a nice feel to it and it's kind of clicky. So if I just go quiet, it's got a nice feel and to it. And just controls this volume. As you might expect, it's a nice little inclusion. And the small array of buttons here are very much appreciated. Because I kind of like feels more of a dedicated media keys, uh, which are uncleverly positioned and cleverly designed by the single button over here. Now elsewhere, another thing worth bringing is that in the mind. keyboard is actually IP32 certified in other words. You can spill a little bit of water on it and let it air out and it will be fine. Given the fact it's a main brain and keyboard. actually mechanical keyboards have that same functionality, although they're probably not IP rated or IP tested. It means this keyboard can survive a few spills. Doesn't mean you can dunk it in water. Why would you ever do that? But it's just worth bearing in mind that, that does have its IP certification, which is great. To that Steel Series is kind of pushing that a more budget keyboard. Now moving on, we've got got this steel series engine software now you can see over here you've got default configuration but you can add a few configurations if you want you've got the app which means that you can have it enabled with certain apps which are over here which is nice to see um and then i'll see the library if as you well. want to scan for games now through here um this is the most important because part. this allows you to customize the keyboard so first off oh, let's go into illumination you can see over what here. i was talking about with the 10 zone um illuminations that you have uh, you can customize this to your basically to your heart's console so you can drag it and therefore do all the keyboard you can see that they have got it on color or you can select a singular zone and for it to change you can have a steady multi-color breeze or you can disable it all together if you so wish and you can also adjust the brightness good thing about this is because of the live it works preview. in real time allowing you to see the changes that you're making and you there's can see. quite a lot of options to say the least I presume most people will use it on the color shift because option. it looks pretty at least in my opinion and we'll just leave that that. In terms of key bindings, you can customize almost every key. Some keys can't be changed like Let's the, say the Steel Series button over pretty here. pretty much every other key can be here. remapped to another key. So let's say for example, let's go for F8 here. You can see I can change it to, I don't know setting it to editing, and put it to a space button instead. Or better still, you can even create your own macro. If you want to do that, these two buttons over here can't be customized. So just worth bringing that but in mind. But it is totally understandable. And finally, you got the setting um, tab which allows you to change the polling rate, which I'll pretty much recommend using. Or on the highest, and also, given the fact that the key available in different layouts, you might want to change it depending on your So region. for example, the US it automatically updates. The fact that whether you got the small and enter key, go to UK, and you got the larger enter key over here. A nice here. integration over here by via Steel Series, because obviously button layers will differ our region. And now, we get on to performance, which is obviously the most important part of this review. Now, first, I do off, want to mention that the M Steel series up switches are the whisper quiet ones, um, and they're rated for 20 million clicks, at least according to Steel series. The keyboard itself also has a 24 key and key rollover. I will say that with my 10 fingers so on like 24, I did find that it does pick up all the key presses. They're not as responsive as mechanical um switches. Just worth bearing that in mind, but in a nutshell, what I will say is if that if you're normally gonna be pressing three to five keys, which is something what I think most people will be pressing at one given time, then this keyboard is perfectly fine and will be perfectly acceptable.
So now let's get into a little typing test, or should I say little typing, and a little bit of a sound demo of the, the keyboard. So hopefully that little sound then will give you a little bit of indication of how the keyboard sounds. Bit from normal-ish typing. I'm just typing at a complete different weird angle because of how I'm recording and also raging at the same time. Pressing GG multiple times. So, what are my thoughts on the performance of the Apex 3? Well, what I will say for typing, for someone who types on a general daily basis, is that the keyboard does have a slightly heavier touch and has a slightly different kind of spring back in comparison to let's say the Cherry MX Brown which I know can be quite hard to find at this price tag specifically when it comes to new keyboards the Apex 3 does a decent job when it comes to gaming I had no issues what no issues whatsoever and nothing really to complain about at which point, I see myself perfectly gaming on the Apex 3 as I would do on a Cherry MX Brown keyboard. Now what are my overall thoughts about the Apex 3? Will we compete with it? Again, there are some lesser known brands out there, which some people will trust or not trust. But they do offer mechanical switches, but from the big name manufacturers. When it comes to peripherals, SteelSeries here is offering a, quite a compelling option. For those people who want kind to of get into entry-level gaming, if that makes sense with a membrane keyboard. And given the fact that this is a RGB keyboard, has got 10 um, zone elimination, and also it's got the dedicated media um, key, which is nice to see. For someone who listens to a lot of music, I must say that the Steel Series Apex 3 is definitely a good budget option to have is the best one well truthfully just really depends on where you live so if you got any questions and want further thoughts or opinions about the apex 3 do let me know in the comments below and of course ask the question you got any doubt or anything that i've missed out in this review if you do like this type of content make sure you give it a like subscribe to see more as it always helps the channel grow and favorite and share as well bye bye